When inputting rear dropout spacing for a through axle hub, one might assume that 142 mm should be specified as this is the overlock nut dimension for a typical through axle hub. However, when using the export to FreeCAD option, it's important to enter 135 mm instead. This might be controversial, but this decision was made with the intent of making the design process simpler. Traditionally, mountain bike rear dropout spacing, the distance between the inner faces of the dropouts, has been 135 mm. Through axle dropouts still have 135 mm spacing between the inner faces of the dropouts, but they also have a 3.5 mm recess on either side to accommodate the 142 mm hubs. In a future update of BikeCAD, the rear dropout spacing dimension may be renamed to eliminate this confusion. Since BikeCAD uses dimension CZ and SZ to locate the chain stays and seat stays some distance outward from the inner surface of the dropout defined by rear dropout spacing, it's just simpler if that inner surface is the same for both quick release and through axle dropouts. To illustrate how much smoother it is when we use rear dropout spacing to define the distance between the innermost faces of quick release as well as through axle dropouts, consider the Paragon DS0001 sliding dropout, which we can use with various quick release compatible inserts, but then also select from one of the various through axle compatible inserts without having to adjust the rear dropout spacing dimension and also change dimensions ZZ and SZ to account for what would otherwise be a shifting reference surface.